comes the axe. Prove yourself. Bottom lane. I've seen Sumail dumpster this matchup, but it's usually pretty even, I would say. But a bad does uh, with levels tend to do much better than bad. Bad has yeah. to win the first couple ways oh. hard. No more wow, I, I don't know. Well, that is bottom lane. No tails actually being run at here. This could be a kill. Nightmare set up. Madara with that tree. Yep, a couple of hits. Joel's the log and easy kill on him. And he stand in another lane, but that's the extent of their usefulness. So, like, they forced this TP top, and now Casey's going to die anyway. Um, and they can't do anything but watch. Yep. <laughs> now it's like he's on vacation in Cabo or something. Not Cabo, but he goes something. Well, Cinderin found a place. It's bottom lane to kill Lycan. Lycan was a little too far here. It's safe, and the brain sample helped him do so. He's going to be fine for now, and Mad's going really deep, but... Abaddon's here as well. He is level 6, by the way. No borrow time just yet. That hasn't leveled it up just yet. That's the Aphotic Shield on Death Prophet. Pulls him out of the lasso. Jerex going to turn around with a snowball. Go back on a quick foot. Matt is healing up with a Spirit Siphon. Barely left for the time. Another Aphotic Shield comes out. Down goes Tusk, though. As he is. Is that going to save him? No tell. In the trees. He does not have a TP, though. So best case, he just delays this, it feels like. Yeah. They run him down. Shadow Realm. Curse Crown. That's going to be a kill on Keizu, though. So at least they turn it, and they see Dark Willow coming in. Changed my guest on his item build had I known that. Yeah, he's, uh, he's done some yellow stuff recently. Death Prophet Lasso in. He has the Exorcism out. This could be a big kill on him if they manage to take him out. The damage, yeah. it looks like it is going to be too intense. He falls, and they want more even. It seems like this is almost like a preference thing from player to player. Uh, what initiation tool you get first. Yes, he's using the blink. But Keizu, by the way, the nice shard block initially. They want to go further. Snowball in with S4. Already using that Mist Coil, level 2. If Onyx Shield level 4 applied, if that exposed with Sight, that should be a kill. Looks like it's going to be the case, and he has the auto attack to finish the job. And now Cinderin, he has to be careful. The shard block on him with the Cursed Crown. Cinderin, no doubt, going to be dying right here. Flying credit for the kill on him. They're diving to second tier tower easily. Back to the middle lane, though. Spirit Siphon's up from Matt on Buryu. He's trying to live against this Viper Strike of Quake Bub. Going to be surviving for now because of the Snowball in. Buryu getting low as well. They do kill Matt. They're going to kill Buryu in return. Away from them. And you don't really want to just TP top in top to their face and fight them because you, you just, just want to run away. Viper has to sit in this lane and just hit heroes. Like, he just, even though DP is like 1k network behind. Yeah. Middle lane, the they Bramble Maze because... connects on a quick fun. They're just going to right click him down, like an expert at that, of course, in the sheet. He has a borrowed time, remember? Fodic Shield going to keep him alive for the time being. Fodic, er, it does explode, and there's that borrowed time. They lasso on a, him on in. They want to kill about it after the fact. The Ice Blast going through. S4, another shield though, he's fine for now. Wand, 17 charges. He should be able to survive this. And it's not going to be enough damage. He pops the one, and he's going to heal up, be fine for now. Keizu, the Shadow Realm auto attack, secures a kill on him. And now Madara, he's trapped between the Ice Shards and the Bramble Maze. That is a tough trap to deal with. And now the Curse Crown on top of him. He goes down, bottom lane. He should not be there, but okay. He's built quite a bit, and... He's going to go the four staff into a hurricane pack eventually back to the top lane. Bane, they're running at him once again. The good old strategy of right click him down. That's what Notel does. With that shape shift. That with the Bramble Maze. Yeah, that, that, that's actually a pretty good synergy. Yeah. More importantly, they force TPs and now they run straight at middle. They know that <laughs> at most of this is only a Viper. He'll have to cancel TP. Again, the control, the vision. They're, they're just going to fall back for now. Tusk is probably going to spot this. Yeah, oh, <laughs> Matara knows he's there though. He just jumps right in with a blink, so Jerex is going to go down, it looks like. This is the definition of... Oh, double no miss! No way, no way, another miss. Okay, he's dead. But that, that is the definition of a good death. Up top... Look the dire team. That's what they're doing. Oh, well, they're going to get Jerex, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do that find one, him. That one's not as good of a death as the Radiance one previously, but... Shard block, not going to happen. It's a different game. Oh, team fights. Maybe. Nah, Keizu, I don't, uh, this almost seems dangerous for Keizu, honestly, but actually the top lane there is a fight breaking out, Tusk does go down, now Death Prophet has to run, so Keizu does kill Fly, so it works out pretty well for Matlat so far, two for nothing, oh, Matt turned around, throws the yields up, still running after him, but here we go, no tails, like now's my time, right clicks coming, Madara realizing, he's running, Koi Fuss, Spirit Siphon on him, the Exorcism committed for this as well, OG wants a big fight, they're going to get maybe something out of it, on a Viper, it looks like, off to the side of the left. Cinderin cannot TP out in time, and Viper is run down in the long run. It's going to be really difficult for Mad Lads, I believe. They get the lasso top, though. Is it bad enough TP? No, he might just be dead on the tail. Oh, shape shift run. Not going to work. Yeah, ice blast. Radiance top
Oh, he's dead. He's scouting with wolves. He's yeah. gonna land a kill on AA for his trouble. And that actually, this is his guy with no buyback, which means that No Tail's gonna respawn, TP to the top shrine, and run immediately at Rashawn. There you go. 35 seconds. Tower is pretty much a lost cause if you're mad lads here. The base, though, different story. Want to defend that. Top lane, Keizu thought he had a lasso. He gets lifted up, though, with the yields. And now Keizu's in trouble. The Bramble Maze, the Curse Crown. He will fall, and he does have a buyback. No lasso, however. That's going to be key. S4 running at them, and so is like. And Cinderin's going to be beat down because of that. Madara just avalanche toss combo, but S4 borrowed time. He's not going to heal much from it, though. The tree toss, the Photic Shield will negate that, and he'll survive for now. Remember, he has the Aegis' worst case right here. For him. Shape shift hits out the big avalanche initiation. They do kill the Abaddon, but now Madara gets turned out by the snowball. He is dead with no buyback. So they're not scared. Quake buff, Curse Crown. Stun's going to proc in a second. He gets back to the fountain at least. He'll survive. Buryu, different story. He'll fall right there to run. Keizu, okay, Lasso. They want to get this kill. The Ice Blast actually secures it, and they're also going to get the Tusk because of that. A little better. Oh, sleeps the Centaur. There's the oh, what a Ooh, he sleeps so he can't interrupt. Well, what a player. Yeah. Buryu, Dota. I guess. Rebel Maze Rebel put down, that's going to stop them quite a bit, and actually the Fear on a Tiny on top of that, they do kill Keizu in the midst of it, and another kill on Koikva, very likely going to be happening, yeah, the OG just clearly showing off their net worth lead there, if anything. It is completely jumped Mad Lads off guard, Madara turns and kills Tusk, but probably going to be at a cost for him. Might as well take somebody with him, I guess, but yeah, he goes down three for one. Haps, but here comes Viper TPing in. Batrider's also now up. Madara wants to keep them nearby for now. Jarek Snowball getting him alive for the time being. Spirit Siphon again four step away from Madara, but that Snowball's going deep. The Walrus punch to secure the kill. Die back on a tiny is official. We see the Terrorize activated as well. We're not pretty quickly though. BKB from Mad. As he's backing off, of course, no exorcism throughout this. Now, No Tail is pushing bottom lane during this. There's a Terrorize coming out actually. We'll fear them away. Buryu. He's being ran at by that Lycan shapeshift form, and he's dead now for a minute. With no buyback. This is probably the beginning of the end now. For OG. That'll die for the team, but yeah, this is There's Mega Creeps. 